Market watcher David Barnson is with us. I did not listen, uh, but I watched the reruns. I watched the highlights. Not a word from the Democrats about economic growth. Not a word. No, they pivoted to foreign policy a lot more last night, probably understandable in the wake of the Iran uh, events, but they have not been talking about foreign policy at all. Economic growth, it's nice when they don't talk about it. I get very depressed (laughs) when I hear those candidates talk (laughs) about economic growth. Their message, particularly the Warren Sanders wing, is so incredibly detrimental to U.S. economic growth. How badly they would hurt the middle class is frightening to think about. Well, you wrote a book about uh, Elizabeth Warren, and last night... We heard a lot about her giveaway plans, including cancelling student debt at the taxpayer's expense. But I put it to you, David, she is actually fading in the polls. Oh, she is. It's Bernie Sanders that's making the running now. Yeah, it's interesting. A lot of people are asking me, is is Elizabeth Warren fading, showing that Americans are rejecting her socialistic message? But clearly it's not, because the the numbers are going to Bernie, and so they're kind of trading one socialist for another right now. Look, it's very fluid. I'm not ready to write her out completely. She needs to come in first or second in Iowa, second or third in New Hampshire. She still has a chance to do that. They both have plenty of money, so they can go the distance if they choose to. But ultimately, I'm more concerned about the message. I didn't write the book about Elizabeth Warren as a candidate attacking her as a person. It's the ideas and her attack on the aspirational society that I am so concerned about. That message has clearly gotten currency in the Democratic Party and that she's brought the whole center of gravity to the left. Before we close it, I don't see any of the four leading candidates beating Donald Trump. No matter what the polls say, come November, they lose. What do you say? Well, you know you're my friend and I respect you, but that is what I'm concerned about, that so many on our side might fall into a complacency or apathy. I think all four of them could be Donald Trump. I'm not saying any of them will, but this is going to be a close election. The margins are so tight in the three, four, five states that really will make the difference. I don't want to give uh, anything, take anything for granted in this. No complacency. I got it. David Bonson, thank you, sir.